yes, it finally happened. I did crash the drone and I regret my actions. I was being stupid. When you're anyone's talking about drone crashes or, or gear breaking, it's usually because people are being irresponsible, they're being dumb, they're not taking the precautions uh, that they need to be. Granted, there are accidents, things do happen, but a lot of the time it's because people aren't treating the tools like tools, they're treating them like toys. And I was treating it like a toy. Thankfully, the drone is okay. It's not totally broken. Everything still works. I can still record video with it, but uh, it was a pretty scary. Basically, what I was doing was I flipped it into sport mode, was kind of showing off a little bit because, you know, when you first get a drone, and I, I talked about this when I first did uh, an overview of the Phantom 4. Now we're shooting on the, uh, the Phantom 4 Pro, and that's the one I crashed, but the Phantom 4 was the first drone that I flew. And back then, I said, you know, be cautious as long as you're safe you're not going to run into any problems. And that's absolutely true. If you fly following the rules and understanding um, that it is a, a expensive piece of equipment flying around in the sky, keep that in mind at all times. You know, that when you think about that, that's going to keep you in a, in a space where you're flying safely and responsibly. You do that enough though, and you start getting a little confident. Maybe you're, you want to show off a little bit. And so then you start doing things that you might not normally do that aren't as cautious or as safe. And that's exactly what happened. So I'm flying in sport mode. And unfortunately, there's no video of this. It was like the last thing we we're filming during the day. And I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to have some fun with it. Go top speed. And for whatever reason, my brain flipped my thumbs for a, a brief period where what, what I thought was up, I ended up hitting down. And because it's in sport mode, it's going so fast. Instead of going up into the open, clear space, it went down right into the top of a building. And I crashed there and lost camera feed. Holy crap, what am I going to do? Well, thankfully, the building was not that tall. Uh, there was no roof access that I could get access to, but we were able to pull the van up next to another building. I was able to hop on the van, get on one roof in order to climb on the other roof. I was essentially playing pretend Spider-Man for a little bit, trying to get up there to retrieve the drone because if I crashed it, but I'm not going to leave it up there. So I get up there, I grab it. On impact, the battery had ejected, so that's why I lost signal. Thankfully, there was no significant damage done to the drone itself. It actually took the impact pretty well, and as and I actually kind of recovered too. Uh, as I saw it drop, I realized what I had done, and so I kind of pulled back up at the last second, so I think I, that helped kind of brace the impact a little bit. But uh, on the landing gear of the Phantom 4, there's some plastic pieces that hide some wires. Some of those popped off, but thankfully the memory card was still intact. Battery works, gimbal's good. So no significant problems, but that's because I got really lucky. It could have been way worse. It could have hit something up there like an air conditioning unit or something else on the roof. The roof could have been way higher and it would have been a lot more challenging to get back. It could have there could have been water in the other side of the building and the drone could have skipped or something. So this is an example and I wanted to tell this story because I had gotten to the point where I was getting so confident with it that I was being reckless. I was being careless and don't, whatever you do, do not do that with any of your gear. Even if it's just a camera, you know, putting it in a situation where it could break, that's, that may happen. And you've got to be, you know, if you're, if you want to put, you know, a red epic out the side of a car, you've got to be okay with maybe you're going to drop it. Maybe another car is going to fly by and hit it. You know, you never know what's going to happen. And so if you're okay with, you know, putting a $50,000 camera out the side of a car and losing it, okay, you can make that decision. But if you would rather use, you know, maybe an old 5D Mark II that you don't really care if it gets broken, that's probably the better decision. I would not have been okay if the drone had been totally wrecked. I would, I would have felt terrible. Uh, I did feel terrible when I crashed it. I'm embarrassed to even tell the story because that's not that's not a cool story you know someone crashing a drone thankfully no one was injured there were no people involved but like that could have happened too and then maybe I'm facing a lawsuit there's so many things that can go wrong and thankfully I got really really lucky in this situation but just always keep in the back of your mind that like what can go wrong may end up going wrong and you've got to be prepared to face those consequences. So even if you get really comfortable with a piece of gear or you feel really confident flying a drone, driving a chase vehicle, whatever, still take the precautions, be safe, be responsible, 
Don't get reckless because you could be in a situation that's far worse than this, you know, small little story, which all things said and done wasn't actually that bad, but it really could have been. And, uh, you know, I, w- I want to make sure I stress that, that I turned out okay. And yeah, it's probably going to be okay. 99% of the time you will be okay. You'll probably get lucky. It's not that going to be that big of a deal. But that 1% of the time where it does go devastatingly wrong, that's where you get the videos of like drones flying into people, landing in water, you know, the gear is wrecked. I know people are doing a lot of that on YouTube where they're just destroying gear for fun. I'm not about that. I want to keep all my gear safe and intact just so I can use it as tools and then I can resell it once new stuff comes out. You know, keep your gear in good working condition. No one wants to buy a busted drone. So... Just keep that in mind. I thought it was a very valuable lesson that I learned and I thought I could share it with you.